Thank you, Deputy Speaker. I must first thank all the honorable members who participated and gave their inputs in how to improve the decorum of this house. Um, rather than respond to individual inputs that members have made, I want to refer to the agreements that were made at the meeting between the deputy president and political parties, but leaders in 2014, because I believe they would help us to find one another and also ensure that the decorum of this house is restored. The agreements that were made include the following. Firstly, we have to work to restore the dignity of in integrity and standing of parliament. It is our collective responsibility. And secondly, we had agreed that we must reaffirm respect for the rules, procedures, and structures of parliament. Thirdly, we need to work together to ensure that rules and procedures are applied consistently, fairly, without fear, favor, or prejudice. And four, to reaffirm the responsibility of the presiding officers to apply the rules consistently, fairly, and without fear, favor, or prejudice. Five, reaffirm the principle of executive accountability and that all members of the executive are to appear before parliament as required by the rules. And six, work together to ensure a climate in parliament that enables members of the executive to appear before parliament and properly account. And seven, reject any attempt in whatever form to suppress debate or silence dissent and aid promote a culture of substantive quality debate and reject insulting language and personal attacks on members. Many people out there are saying the language they hear in this parliament is embarrassing, it is worrying, and there is a plea that we need to improve our language so that what we speak can be emulated by young people out there. There are many things that are being said out there that are causing parents to blame members of parliament. So we are appealing to members of parliament to truly be examples, even with what we say, not only with our actions, but also with what we say. And eight, the agreement was to promote a culture of substantive quality debate and reject insulting language. And nine, establish a committee consisting of the leader of government business and leaders of parties represented in parliament to lead pro political processes to address whatever is happening in this parliament that is not acceptable. Speaker, or Deputy Speaker, we believe that if these agreements can be implemented, then the decorum of this house will be upheld and protected. So one more time, I want to thank all members of parliament who participated, and I hope that our country will one more time be proud of their parliament as they see members of parliament doing their best to ensure that you, we improve in our dealing with one another, respect expired. one another, and also have exemplary conduct. Thank you. Honorable members, I hope that the spirit of the subject for debate is agreed to by every one of us. Let's proceed in our conduct, in our language, uh, to respect that objective. The concludes the debate and the business for the day the House is adjourned.